Hi, I'm Kurt with the Office for Mac Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new PowerPoint table styles to quickly create a professional looking table. Let's add a table to this slide that shows information about this company's best selling coffees. First, here in the Elements Gallery, click Table Styles and take a look at the different styles you have to choose from. All of the tables in this group are designed to match the presentation theme. So let's go with this one. Then select the number of columns and rows. Don't worry if you don't know the exact number. You can easily add or remove them later. Before adding text, let's resize and move the table so it fits better on the slide. Let's make one other small change so that the columns, instead of the rows, appear shaded. Now you can type text in the cells, tab between cells, and resize rows and columns, just like you would in a table in a Word document, for example. To make other changes, like adding more rows or applying styles and effects, you can use the options here on the formatting palette. And if you don't see these options, make sure that the table is selected on the slide. To select a table, you just click its border. OK, let's add a couple more rows and apply a 3D and a reflection effect to make the table look more interesting. You format the text in a table like you do any other presentation text. Just select the text and apply the formatting you want in the formatting palette. And if you decide to change the theme of the presentation, the table also updates to match the new theme. If you think you might want to use this table in another application or on the web, control or right click on the table border and click Save as Picture. There are several different image formats, for example, JPEG or GIF, so choose the one that works best for you. So that's a quick overview of the new table styles in PowerPoint 2008. Be sure to check out Help and the Office for Mac website for additional PowerPoint 2008 videos, courses, and content.